Yo, what's going down, guys? So I have a 1v1 full match for you. And me against Carlos Master. Yeah. However, I am really tired right now. But I do realize that I have not been bringing out too many Dying Light videos. The safe zones are not safe. Remember that. It's important information, yo. Safe zones are not safe. However, killing somebody inside of a safe zone when they really, really good, I think it kind of makes people a little mad. But as you can see, well, you haven't seen it yet, but you will. This guy right here, he's one tough nut to crack, yo. So we are going in. We are testing the waters here. And we already got drop kick right to the face. So we gotta get out of there as quickly as we possibly can, yo. And I'll be if he's not right on top of us already, so we have to keep moving. Oh, there he is. Yeah, he is zooming around, grappling folks. And then next thing you know, he already has his light just shining right dead on me. So, I don't know if I, I'm completely ready or completely prepared, but he is right already on my net. And he's already dodged my first tackle. So, maybe, maybe my head's just not in the game right now. But, oh, no, 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 no. Yeah. I kind of expected that. Maybe I need a little bit more time waking up, you know? But it'll be alright, it'll be alright. We waiting on this A button right here so we can go back and see if we can't keep fighting them. Let me tell you, yo. This, this guy is tough. I, I, can, I can feel it in my bones. Bottom of my heart. Oh! This pounce now. Now he already drop kicked me, and I can't land a spit on him. Like I have played this guy before, and I don't even think I won that time either. So, yeah, we are dead again. But it's all right. It'd be all right. See, the whole purpose of this game right here, when you're playing as a zombie is you have to kill this dude 10 times and then you win the game he can kill you 25 times and still not win the game he can kill you 50 times and still not win the game but you have to kill the human 10 times to win the game and what he has to do is he has to destroy my nests i have five nests now sometimes there's multiple little nests that he has to kill in order to get one nest destroyed. And as you can see, he killed me again. So it doesn't matter how many times he kills me. He has to go after the nest to win. And I have to try to kill him. Now, one of the big things about this game that I don't like, but it makes it very challenging to play the night time, is they made this game to basically, they did a great job on them, their, their, uh, their human side, their campaign side, their story mode, which is you know, dealing with the human. So the human has all sorts of great skills and abilities. Now I'm I'm a mutation three night hunter. I am a, a hunter ranked night hunter, which is like one below 
the highest ranked night hunter, which is, I believe, like an apex predator. Now, don't get it twisted. I've been playing for a nice long time. Like, I think I have, like, a lot of playtime on this Night Hunter. And then I stopped playing for a while. And then they came out with the mutation. So, wow, we have both spits on him. But I don't know. I don't even know if it's going to do anything. Whoa, there we go. Oh, man. So, in all honesty, they... They did a good job on the story mode, but see, the thing is, they had a weapon duplication glitch that I don't even think they patched, so a lot of people are running around with the best weapons that they duplicated, but now, also, um, there's a lot of people, they're all higher level and stuff, and it makes it a lot harder for, like, night hunters to, you know, do their thing, because... These humans, they are really, really quick, and a good human will evade everything you throw at them, like tackles, they evade a tackle, and you're basically a little bit stunned as you go forward, plus you can also run the risk of running into some spikes. It happens, it happens every so often. Now, the humans, they have the best weapons. The humans, they have Night Hunter potions. Gives them an even bigger edge. And, well... The Night Hunters, they, they have a lot of spits at their disposal. They have the uh, Horde spit, which basically summons the zombies to come and blow them up. The humans up. And they got the uh, UV block. Bit, the UV suppressor spit basically means they can't turn on the light. And the light, as you can tell, ow, dude, that's a good uh, brain death right there. Man, the light will drain the Night Hunter's energy. And so you gotta really watch out for that. Now, sometimes it's just inevitable. You can get the light shining on you. And when you have the light shining on you, you can't do nothing. I mean, as long as you still got that little bar right there, that's on the bottom in the middle. Now this is some hacking stuff right here. I don't know what's up with that. But he's shooting me right through the- oh no. Well, I don't know what to do about this. Maybe he'll come down eventually. I don't know how to do that. That's crazy. But... On a lighter note, if he completely drains you of that little bar, you really can't do nothing. You can't get away. You can't tendril locomotion, which is you're throwing out your little Spider-Man stuff. You can't do that. You can't do nothing. You slow. It, it, you slow down. You can't really tackle anymore. It is bad. It's bad, yo. The only thing you can really do is a ground pound. And if you miss the ground pound, well, bad things happen like you can't move for like a couple of seconds. And during that time, they can hit you like three times, two times, and sometimes just one time, you're dead. Easy as that. Simple as that. Quick and painless almost. Because it's so fast. But, let me, let me go ahead and tell you, this guy is good. I've only killed him one time, and that was inside the safe zone when he was caught. However, I just got a kill. Straight up tackled him, and that was actually pretty good on my part. And sometimes it does happen. Now, this is not one of my best games, but you have to understand. I'm going up against someone that, you know, he's maxed out and he's actually decent. He's good. He's good at what he does. I'm pretty sure you noticed this. He's tearing me apart. 
very little of what I'm throwing at him. He, 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 he's, he's on top of me. He, he knows all the tricks. He's probably, like, he, he has probably played against Night Hunter numerous times, so he knows everything a Night Hunter can do. But, like I said, he wants to have a very huge advantage in this game. And some people will argue that, you know, there are some good night hunters out there. I'm I'm decent. I wouldn't say I'm the best. I'm, I'm decent. Man, let me tell you. There's a lot of great humans out there. However, there are a lot of humans that don't know what the heck they're doing. And I like those games just as much because then I, I, I really do got a chance. But, you know, I like a good challenge. I really do. And this guy, he's a very he's a very good challenge. So if you're a night hunter out there and you're looking up night hunter videos and you have stumbled upon this one, do your best. Don't. Quit out. Quitting out is the same as losing. You fight until the end. No matter how bad the match is going. You fight until the end. Because you never know. They can be on the last death. And you can start killing them like crazy. There's one kill. Now we gotta find him. So, yes, guys. The moral of the story is don't give up. Fight until the end. Because there's a lot of dudes out here that know what they're doing. And the only way you get good rep in this game right here is you always fight to the end. Because I've heard stories of night hunting. They like, when things get too rough... Yeah, when things get too rough, they leave the game. I don't leave games like that. I play until the bitter end. And that's, that's what you guys have to do. And as you can tell, I'm starting to catch up on these kills, yo. Doing good. Let's see him right here. Oh! How it is. So, heck yes, guys. Heck yes. So we are catching up on these kills, yo. Now we just gotta find them again. Now as you can see, it's not gonna take much for him to win this game. He just got skilled to kill that last gun. Ooh, tackle. Oh, 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 no, no, no. Oh, man, see? Quick evasion. And I, 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 I thought maybe a ground pound would work out right there, but it didn't. And, you know, sometimes, you know, making a ground pound immediately after failing a tackle, sometimes, sometimes, depending on the human that you're playing, sometimes you will land that ground pound, mostly because some humans like to rush in and try to get you after you build the pack. And in those instances, whenever they are a little bit too impatient on trying to get you killed, you're gonna land that ground pound and you're gonna, you're gonna be able to do some stuff. We'll be there, we got another pound there. Pounce with me guys, pounce with me. Right, we are looking around for him. I think all he has is like one more little little nest to get. And it's over for me. We have to get him, we have to get him. Oh no. And one thing you got you gotta you can't get under somebody. Cause these guys will rain death upon you like no one's business. And yes, he did just kill me. We are going right back in there.
Now we are playing right up here. Whoa, whoa. Oh no. Gotta get away. So, guys, please never give up. Oh, oh man. I'm surprised they didn't kill him outright. Oh no, 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 no. No, I think he has me. He has me. Oh. That's no bueno. Yeah, you can't give up, guys. You just can't give up. Keep playing like... keep Just keep playing. And you'll get good. But then you'll meet some people that you just can't beat. And sometimes it's just reality. Now, now, honestly, if there was like one other person here with him, I might I, I might be able to do something. 1v1s are kind of weird and special in the way that, you know, you have just one person, but that one person is going to focus on you, like, more than anything, and only go after the nest when you're dead, like that. Now guys, please like, share, and subscribe if you have not already done so. He has won the game. Good game, my friend. Good game. And yes, when you like a video, it helps me out a lot. Because when you like a video, that means that it gets seen by more people. So keep that in mind if you like my video. You genuinely like it and you want to help me. Get, give me that like. Now here's some last minute stats for you. If you want to go ahead and pause. Just to see some of the stats. You feel free to do so. And until next time guys. Peace.